Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I fixed my nail drill. So I got this nail drill around two years ago and literally like two months in the motor went out. So this is technically new and right here you're going to see that I did connect it just to show you guys that it's not spinning. I'm going to turn it all the way up. It goes all the way to 30. As you can see, it has a full battery. I charged it. It even has that little plastic thing still on because I'm telling you guys, I literally had it for like two months. And then at the nail shop, they were charging me, where I bought it from, they were charging me $40 to fix it. And I'm like, um, no, so I'm going to fix it myself. So right here, you guys can see, look, I'm spinning it with my finger because it does not spin at all. Look at that. It's not moving whatsoever. So right here in those little lines, you can see, look, as I'm spinning it, it wants to spin, but it's just not, it's not happening. So I went on ahead and ordered a motor for it. A lot of nail drills do come with this exact handle, so it could be compatible to you guys. If it's not, I'm sorry, but this is a very common handle, so it could help you if you have this problem. So like I said, I did order this motor from AliExpress. It took about, let's say, a little bit over a month to come in. Um, and it cost me $4. So now I'm going to show you how to remove the back part. It has a little line where you're supposed to twist it so it will open. But sometimes when you buy these, they're really, really, you know, strongly put together. So it's hard to take them apart. So that's why you see me using the pliers. So that's how I took it off. As you can see there, I'm twisting. And then now it's easily going to come off. So as you can see there, the motor is right there. This is a little motor and it's connected to that cable. So like I said at the beginning, make sure, you know, everything's connected. It's not loose there. Your cables look good. Nothing's twisted before you go on ahead and buy a motor because it could be a little simple problem that the motor is maybe not connected right. So double check that before you go and buy your motor. So there's my new one. You can see they are exactly the same. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. Make sure everything is nicely aligned. That it will fit right in. As you can see there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. So real quick, make sure everything is nice and tight. Everything's connected. There's nothing loose. And you can go ahead and put your cap back on. Twist it on. Make sure it's on tight so it doesn't come off when you are drilling. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the machine. And I'm going to slowly pump it up so you guys can see that it works. I'm so happy. I literally been waiting to fix this drill like forever. I just had it sitting there and I was like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. But I just have not had the time and I've been waiting for the motor to come in. So I'm so happy it finally works. Like you can literally hear that it actually works now. So like I told you guys, I got this motor from AliExpress. I will link the link down below if you guys have the same motor. And you guys need to fix it. So now you know how to fix it. And I mean the ideas to use a nail drill are endless. If you have the right tips, obviously make sure you sanitize everything. Clean it if you are using it for your nails or project. And then, yeah, I mean like, oh my god, you can use this for your Crocs to file them down. For your nails, for to make little holes on your projects i mean the ideas are endless so yes you guys will see this drill in a lot of my videos to come and i am gonna throw this motor away and enjoy my drill now that it's working so i hope you guys learned something look at my tips they are ready to be used so thank you guys for watching like always and i'll see you guys in the next video